Hello people. Quick updates. I've been working on uh, navigation maps, if you guys know, and basically made a bit of progress, which I want to share with you guys. Uh, it's not done quite yet. Uh, I do get navigation maps, but the shapes are not entirely optimized yet. Um, to test out a navigation map, basically try to create like a small world, which is this one. Just to just to test out that like navigation map forms are the ones I expect to uh, expect to happen before trying on the big one. So this is the the level. It's fairly basic, uh, and this is there to test a few cases. So first of all, you've got like very narrow passages, like a very narrow door handle here. Will there be um, like meshes in between, which allows AI as a players to uh, walk between those? Uh, second of all, if you've got like a very big, uh, like uh, spatial object like this one, which blocks quite a big, uh, big space, uh, you don't want to have any nav, nav any meshes inside this uh, this structure. So these should be just be like empty, empty uh, space. Uh, so this is like the first test model basically you start working with, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll take a little while to. Uh, Compute enough the navigation meshes. I mean, it's not entirely, like you can say, like optimized. So anyway, so this is the level. Um, so if we just step outside and we just look at the actual navigation map, this is what it currently looks like. So every mesh has a separate color. So you can see, like the very big hole in the very middle. There's nothing in there as we would like it to uh, would like it to be. Uh, but at the same time, you do see it's not an optimal, not even near near optimal. I mean, do you like the shape of them? Like some can't normally be merged, but there's like a technique called uh, three to two merging, which kind of reconstructs or reconfigures how these meshes are uh, constructed, which will you know limit or reduce them in the amount of meshes that need to be uh, produced. So that's something I'm currently implementing, but hopefully get it done tomorrow. But can't make any promises, so we see how what happens. But for now, I mean, this is essentially what you uh, what you would expect. So let's have a look at the bigger level, the one we looked at last time I was uh, constructing. So that would be that one. Now this will take quite a lot of time to uh, to compute the whole thing. I mean, there's a lot of debug messages in between just to make sure everything runs. As it uh, as it should, I do get like the desired outcome and all that kind of stuff, but that will be optimized after the whole thing uh, gets to work. I mean, <laughs> develop you do create like a lot of debug messages and all that kind of stuff, which basically runs the entire process. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Here we go. So this uh, level as you uh, you've seen before. So just step outside and enable the navigation mesh. You can see similar thing. Um, so you do see the big, uh, big empty gaps where players can't go. So over here, where there's actually like a, um, a port, you do see, you know, like the navigation mesh can actually get in there, which is quite nice. Uh, and separately, if like, uh, similarly for the small doorways here, you see the same structure being uh, being produced. So again, there's like more meshes than there should be, but that's going to be optimized later on. So do you see like little steps on top of shields? Totally good visible from here. So let's. So here, like the white, green, and yellow ones are actually the uh, staircases, which you can't see because there's like a massive white portal in front of it. And similarly here, you do see that the meshes do get a bit cramped up uh, around like tight corner spaces. But again, I do have like a uh, post optimization technique, oops, uh, available, which will hopefully clear most of that, that off. Uh, similarly, here you get like the, the steps, like the pink and yellow, brownish ones. Um, so yeah, I'm quite pleased and quite happy with the way this uh, this whole thing looks like. Uh, so all I need to do now is to clear up some of the um, some of the spaces. Also, some of the meshes, so they are uh, actually more optimal. I mean, I won't get them completely optimal, 
But and if that's done, I can actually start working on uh, pathfinding of them, which should not be a very big uh, problem. I mean, just going to be a star, but just like I said, like uh, waypoints going to be nav uh, meshes to navigate through. But that should be good fun. So yeah, that's about it for now, and hopefully check out see you guys next time. Cheers.